Hey kids. So we're back with Tool Tuesday this week. We, uh, we took that week off last week, just thought it was the appropriate thing to do considering everything that's going on in, in our country. So, um, but we wanted to pick back up where we left off and I think I need to take a couple steps back before we move forward um, because there was quite a few questions about pliers and bolts and nuts and washers and all that. So I just kind of want to cover that so you know what I was referring to. And then we're going to introduce wrenches. I'll try to keep this fairly short, but uh, yeah, so we'll get into it. I'll, I'll move the camera a little bit closer, but before that, I'll get, I got a dad joke for you. Did you hear about the circus fire? It was intense. Anyway, so here we go. Um, I'll move the camera and we'll get started. Okay, so here's a close-up of what a bolt looks like. A bolt and a washer. Okay, it's just a flat washer. And then here's a nut. Okay, that's what's called a nut. This is called a bolt. And that, then those are meant to work together. Okay, and then you also use a locking washer. It's got a little spring. It's kind of set cockeyed like that. So, so that when you tighten it down, it creates tension, which keeps the bolt and nut tight and they stay together okay so and then this is a a lag bolt um it's just basically the, the difference is it's got a, a pointy end because it's meant to work kind of like a screw where, where some applications you're not going to be able to get that nut on it you would drive this like if you're going to hang a basketball hoop or something you on your garage and you can't uh can't get a nut on the other side you would drive this into into the wood okay and i'll show you how that works um, so I'm going to introduce wrenches this time, but I thought it was important to kind of take a couple steps back because we're going to go ahead and uh, show you kind of how the, all these work together. Okay. So here's how you would, a basic, real simple. I mean, there's other variations on this, but we would stick, we would stick the bolt through with the washer, with the flathead washer so that when you tighten this, this head doesn't get pulled down inside the wood. Okay. So we got a flat washer there. Now. We put another flat washer on the other side, okay? And then we put on that locking washer like I was talking about, okay? And then now we put our, our nut on, okay? And then you just can finger tighten it at first, get it down there, get it close. Okay, so now um, this happens to be a half inch wrench. It's got an open end and it's got a closed end and I'll show you what that's for. Um, but for this, Unless you have two sets of wrenches where you got, or even a socket set, we'll introduce sockets later, but where you got half inch socket and a half inch wrench, you're going to need something to hold that other side. And that's where pliers come in. Okay. And remember how we talked about two different, two different adjustments on this. If you tried to grab this, let's just grab this side. If you tried to grab this here, it doesn't fit really well. So you open it up and then it fits really well. See, then you can grab a hold of that, okay? Because you're gonna need something to hold onto that other side. So let's get that on here. Okay, while I tighten this side. Okay, so that it'll hold that bolt while we're tightening that. And as you tighten it down, you can see that it, it squished down that, that locking washer, right? Can you see that? It was open and now it's closed. And what that does is it creates tension so that this thing won't work loose, right? If that wasn't there and you were using this on maybe a wheelbarrow or something, over time, all that shaking from the wheelbarrow will get that thing to come loose if you don't have that locking washer. So that's what that's there for, okay? So now, remember how I talked last time about vice grips? And this is what I was trying to describe. If you, if you overuse vice grips and you don't use the right tool, see how this fits on here nice and clean? It fits on there clean and because it, it, it works on those edges. And if you overuse the wrong tool and you, you're trying to reef on it to get it off, you, you can round, you know, the, the thing will slip and then you round it off, right? And you don't want to do that. So, but this is what I was talking about with the vice grips too. So if we put it there, we can loosen it up get it close and then I can I can clamp it down so I can get a good grip on it right if you're trying to get something off that's hard to hard that's been rusted okay so there we go so we got that and then I wanted to show you this too so this is the lag bolt and see how it's it's got a thick center right so there's a thick center there so when you use this you really want to use it you have to put a you have to drill a hole first right because if you tried to cram this through this wood 
it'd be really hard, right? So what you want to do is you, you want to have a pilot hole that's a little bit smaller than that inside, okay? A little bit smaller than where, see how the threads are sticking out? A little bit smaller than that. So you don't want to make it too big because if it goes like that, it's not, you know, I can, it, it's not going to hold anything. So you go a couple sizes too small to get rid of that wood inside. And then now you can use this and drive it in, right? We can use it with our, our wrench. This is so much easier with a drill. I'll get to a drill. I think it's probably going to be two weeks and we'll do the drill. Okay. But that, see how it's, it's biting now. It's creating its own threads inside that wood. If you tried to do this without, without drilling a pilot hole, you'd be, it would take forever and then you get, the wood starts splitting and stuff. So you don't want to do that. Okay. So that's those. And then I thought I'd show you this too. Um, this is a basic, um, cobalt brand is good. I've had good luck with them. Uh, there's some brands you can spend a lot more on and some you can spend a lot less on. So cobalt is a good quality mid-grade, uh, pretty much everything I've bought that's cobalt, the quality is good. Um, but this one came with two different kinds. It's got the SAE, which is basically the American. I think it stands for Society of Automotive Engineers. I think back in the early 1900s, they, uh, they had to standardize on how they were going to, um, on the wrench sizes and that sort of thing. So they came up with this standard and basically what it is, it just works three eighths, seven sixteenths, half inch. It's basically just like your standard American ruler. The rest of the world's on metric, right? But we're on, uh, inches and, you know, fractions of inches. So that's all that is. It's got both sizes here too, right? So anyway, it's pretty basic. So I don't think I need to go into too much detail. You just, uh, it's got an open end and a closed, a closed end. So open end, a closed end, close end, you know, open end, you can just use real quick. But if you're having to do a, a lot, you can really, you know, you can make, make a lot more progress putting that thing on and going around and around. So, okay. I think that's about it. So, um, I hope you learned something this time. And I think I'll probably do ratchets next time a ratchet and a socket set. And then we'll do the drill after that because they're, they're kind of all building on each other. So. Okay, so before we finish this video up, I just wanted to show you real quick because I realized I didn't cover this in the video. Um, the difference between the two, so this was this is a bolt, right? And it's kind of shiny. This is a, a lag bolt and it's got a dull finish on it. You can get both, uh, you can get this in a, a galvanized finish too. So you can get bolts that look like this. But the reason for this, this is called it, it's, a, it's galvanized. Um, and galvanized just means it's got a coating on it to protect it from the weather. So if you've got a project that's going to be outside, you want to go with galvanized, okay? Galvanized bolt and nut and locking washer, everything galvanized, right? Because it'll withstand the weather better. So anyway, I thought it would be smart to go ahead and tell you what, what the difference was. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Tool Tuesday. God bless you.